Hey everyone, it's Dan. Let me welcome you to my Jurassic Park collection. I was born in the same year that the movie came out, so I can legitimately say that I have been collecting my entire life. Today I'm going to show you how you can collect some Fallen Kingdom memorabilia for yourself uh, at little to no cost. But first, a quick shout out to Jurassic Collectibles. I have watched this channel for years. Uh, I've always been silent about it, but today I want to share it with you guys. It's a great outlet uh, to learn about Jurassic Park memorabilia, so I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, on to the memorabilia. What I'm going to show you is a bunch of food and drink items that are currently on sale in stores as of the upload of this video. They are all branded with the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo, uh, and they have been released by Kellogg's, Dr. Pepper, Doritos, and Pez, and it's all to coincide with the release of Fallen Kingdom here in North America. I got everything you're going to see here on some kind of sale, so a lot of times you could pay less than normal price. Great way to start your collection or build on what you already have. Starting with Kellogg's, they obviously have a bunch of cereals. Um, these are two examples that I have, Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks. I also found, I've never even heard of Crave chocolate before. I don't know if this is regional or, I, maybe it, I'm just really bad, but I've never heard of Crave cereal before. I'm leaving them in the box for now. You don't have to do that. You could uh, crack them out of the box and keep just the box. Really awesome picture of Blue, the Velociraptor. He's got the Jurassic World blue camouflage behind him. It's kind of like he's uh, coming out from behind a torn part of the box. And of course, the advertisement says win movie tickets. If you look at the back of the box, it's really cool. It's a nice picture of Blue, very detailed. Uh, with the big Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo. Uh, this alone would be cool in a picture frame. Besides cereals, we also have cookies. Here's some Keebler cookies. These are Chips Deluxe. These have the Jurassic World branding logo on them, and we have a different dinosaur on there. It's also on the side, so the front and the side have a very nice Jurassic World logo. And then everybody's favorite, the Eggos, which I went a little crazy on. French toaster sticks, cinnamon toast, blueberry, chocolatey chip, home style, buttermilk. The Eggos, I think, might go bad, so I took the Eggos out of the boxes, and I'm keeping these boxes by themselves. The cereal and the cookies, you probably have a better chance of those lasting a long time. So if you want to keep those in the packaging, you can do that. Uh, or you can do the same that I did here with the Eggos, and you just fold them all up. Uh, one day, when I have enough space, I'm going to find a cool way to display these. But for now, I'll keep them in a stack, nice and flat. Kellogg's also has some Cheez-Its and Pop-Tarts, which I have yet to be able to find. But if you search around, Around local supermarkets, check around, be persistent, and I'm sure you're gonna be able to find some of this stuff. And if you keep the receipt when you buy these, you can actually go to the Kellogg's website and enter a contest to win free tickets to see Fallen Kingdom in theaters. I won the contest. Uh, I won two tickets, which is awesome because they really pay for themselves. And if you're lucky, it'll be the same case for you. And you can get all these for pretty cheap. With the cereals, I got mine, buy one, get one free. And then the cookies, they're normally, I think, $4.50 each. Mine were all on sale for $1.88 each. Next up, we're going to talk about Doritos. I'm a Cool Ranch man myself. Never did like nacho cheese too much. Don't hate me, please. For these chips, I haven't seen Jurassic World branding on the small snack size bags. I only see them on the medium and large size bags. And I have what I believe are all five varieties. There's Poppin' Jalapeno, Spicy Nacho, Spicy Sweet Chili, Cool Ranch, and of course, Nacho Cheese. And each bag has its own dinosaur on it, or part of a dinosaur. On the Nacho Cheese, we, it looks like we've got the giant T-Rex taking a bite out of Doritos, which that's, that's really cool in itself. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're all carnivores going for the Doritos, which is kind of funny because I don't think they would be going for the Doritos. Blue the Velociraptor on the Cool Ranch, exactly as you would expect. Cannot go wrong with blue on the Cool Ranch bag. That just makes perfect sense to me. Just like with Kellogg's, Doritos has a special promotion going on where if you go to their website, you can play a game. The back of the bags have codes on them. You enter the codes at the website and it gets you entries to play little instant win games. And you can try a chance to win anything from a little Doritos bottle to a really cool Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom slash Doritos hoodie, which is what I'm trying to win. And if you win really big, the grand prize is a trip to Costa Rica. Just like with the Kellogg's promotion, if you win the Doritos promotion, uh, any of the items that they're giving away, the chips have kind of paid for themselves. So you're really not paying anything when you think about it, if you win. Next is a very classic collectible. Pez has been around a long time and Pez Candy did a special tie-in for Jurassic World where they're producing three different dinosaur Pez candy dispensers. And then I 
also got this really cool display box that the Pez dispensers were uh, displayed in at my local supermarket. It doesn't look like there's any actual Jurassic World branding or markings of any kind on the dispensers themselves, but the heads are obviously based on uh, different dinosaurs that are featured in the Jurassic World franchise. So if you get these, what you're really looking for is one of these really cool display boxes. On the back of the display box, it, it very clearly says that it's Pez Jurassic World. It's got the Universal logo on it. On this particular packaging, it doesn't say Fallen Kingdom, it just says Jurassic World, but you can tell by the cracks in the Jurassic World logo and the erupting volcano in the back that this is supposed to be for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom release. The other thing that's on the Pez website is a cool gift set, which I did not get. It looks like you can order that uh, directly from their website. I'll have a link in the description for you, whichever you'd prefer. Again, very inexpensive, only cost about $5 to get all three, and then the box was free. If you have a good eye, you'd know that I've had the final set of branded items that you can get out here on the table the whole time. I am, of course, referring to the Dr. Pepper cans. Promo items for Dr. Pepper are very cool, and they are numbered. There's a set of four. There are four different cans you could get and four different bottles. It is so cool that Dr. Pepper took this much effort to make the images look this good on the cans. Even on sale, I got a buy two, get one free deal. This still cost me about $25 here with tax. So depending on what kind of sale you get, this may be the most expensive of all the uh, different items that I've showed you. The boxes are so well designed and so vibrantly colored. They're really, really beautiful. So you could do what I did with my Egos and flatten the boxes out here, or you could stuff them with tissue paper and display them on a shelf. No matter how you show these off, they're going to look great. Keep the receipt from these 12 packs and you can go to the Fandango website. You send them a picture and they will send you discount codes to purchase movie tickets to see Jurassic Park. Depending on which package you get, there's $5 and $6 varieties. Um, so whichever package you get, you will get a discount coupon to purchase a movie ticket through Fandango. Say you've planned on seeing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom from the beginning. You know you're going to go see it. So if you go and buy these Dr. Peppers, you're getting drinks, you're getting a brand item that you can keep in your collection, and then you're also going to get discount codes so when you go to buy the tickets for the movie you don't pay as much it's kind of a win-win and one more thing i'd like to point out these are all household goods if you know anybody who buys name brand cookies or doritos chips or dr peppers you can always go by their house or even ask them if they wouldn't mind if you keep one of the cans if you're at your friend's house and he's drinking dr pepper you could ask to keep the can you could ask to keep the packaging a lot of people just throw this stuff away so this is a really simple way to get started in jurassic world collecting Maybe this newer branded stuff isn't as cool as the old Jurassic Park Crunch cereal or Lost World Hamburger Helper. But then again, these are over 20 years old and I can't eat them. And to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the film, I'm telling Jurassic Park stories all month long. I spared no expense, so please consider subscribing and stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone, I'll see you on the next one.